morning. Hope you guys are doing well today. So today the topic that I'm going to discuss is the key to a healthy relationship, which is choosing stability over excitement. So I'm going to continue to talk about what you want to look for in a partner. You know, after you've been in a toxic relationship or more than one, it may be very confusing and you may not know what a healthy relationship is or what it looks like to, to date from a healthy place. So we are very often conditioned by society and media, you know, TV, movies, to believe that a good partner for us is someone who we have this really intense chemistry with, we have a lot of passion for, and someone who excites us, right? Someone who lights a fire in us. But the reality is actually quite different. Excitement in a relationship is actually a poor indicator that that relationship is healthy and that it's going to last. So like if you ask people that have been together for many, many years and they have a good, healthy relationship, what keeps them together, usually, like across the board, they are not talking about excitement, right? They're not saying that, oh, what, what has kept this marriage going for 30, 40 years is the excitement we feel for each other on a daily basis. They don't say that. <laughs> What they say is what keeps us together is the comfort I feel with this person, the security I feel with my partner. This is a safe place for me to come home to. I feel loved and cared for and appreciated. So this is kind of a, a, a dynamic change here. They are not talking about excitement as something that sustains a relationship. And when you think about it, this makes sense. Excitement is for the most part short-lived. It's a temporary emotion. It's difficult to sustain excitement long-term. So if your relationship is built on excitement, that isn't very much to, to build on. It won't sustain you. And you know, a lot of times, like I talked about this in my previous video when I discussed looking for chemistry and how that's also not um, a thing that you want to look for primarily when you're going out there and, and trying to find a partner. Um, excitement can actually sometimes be an indicator that this is not the right relationship. It can mean that your nervous system is being stimulated you know, like you're getting highly, highly um, emotional and there's a lot of chemicals going on in your body. And this could indicate that this is not a safe situation with your partner. Sometimes our unconscious can pick up on things that we're not consciously aware of and unconsciously we're picking up on a lot of signals that this person isn't secure, this relationship is not secure, this person is not right for us. Um, so yes, it can actually, excitement, high levels of excitement in a relationship can mean that this is not a good person for you. So what you want to look for is security, stability, someone who can consistently show up for you and isn't stimulating your nervous system very much. Like, if you have come out of a toxic relationship, you are probably used to high levels of stimulation because these relationships are inherently unsafe. So that is the, you want to look for the opposite. You want to look for someone who can, again, show up for you, meet your needs, who makes you feel secure and safe. And so in case, in case you guys ask me, um, but Lindsay, does this mean we can't have excitement in, in our relationships? No, no, that's not what I mean. Yes, you're going to have excitement in a relationship. In, in a healthy, good relationship, you'll be excited to see each other. You'll be excited to do things together. But what I'm talking about here is not making excitement 
one of the things that you're looking for in a person. Like having excitement be the main determining factor. So I hope this is making sense. What I'm saying is don't go out there with the aim of looking for someone who primarily excites you. Because that's not going to be a good indicator of someone who's good for you long term. Okay. So yes, you can have excitement in a relationship that is healthy. There, it's just a middle ground. It's just not going off of chemistry and excitement alone. All right, guys, I hope this has made sense for you today. Um, a lot of what I what I talk about and and in my work with clients is sort of undoing a lot of this conditioning from you know things like fairy tales and the media conditioning us to believe that that relationships should be all consuming and full of intense passion and you know that's a fun experience but but those aren't the relationships that that last those are not the healthy relationships those relationships very often tend to be toxic in the long term all right guys thanks for watching i will talk to you soon bye bye